Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday here, 05 September. Super frustrated with Euro Swiss yesterday. Pissed me off at the fix there. Slashed it down to uh, 108.15. We're trying to move on. Uh, got a lot of things going on today. Uh, a lot of new trades to look at. Risk on uh, this morning, a little continuation of risk on. Fixed income has turned. Um, but first, let's look at this Aussie. This is important. We've been talking about this uh, 68.20 level for a while now. Uh, we traded as high as 25 yesterday. You could argue that the, the break was at the figure or 03. Um, so, got to be long Aussie here. When London comes in in, in um, 48 minutes, all the systems are going to buy Aussie through uh, 25, so you want to be ready for that. Long Aussie um, looks the trick today, um, along with a few other risk metrics out there. But this is, uh, this is important, Long Aussie. It's cousin Dollar Cad got smashed. Um, BOC didn't do anything, so the the threat of a um, threat of a rate hike taken off the table. Uh, they took uh, Dollar Cad lower quite quickly. Now we're through these uh, one thirty two twenty six lows. This is a, this is a sell. Um, between 30 and 50 today now 132 30 and 50 so commodity currencies were buying today let's take a look at euro sterling this guy um, snuck through this 90 20 area um, still some rocky road ahead in um, for UK stuff, but um, this is an important breakdown through this 9018. We'll probably have a little sneak sneak look back uh, up to this 2025 level. We will try and sell it there unless it's news driven, because um, now uh, this targets 80 8990. Uh, I'm sorry, this target's 88.90 now, um, so a percent away. Boris basically got flattened, um, so, you know, I don't know what to, uh, I don't know what to make of this sort of longer term, but, you know, he's been defeated twice in commons, and... We don't think the House of Lords is going to show any opposition to this bill, so um, the threat of a hard Brexit seems to be reduced. Obviously, the U.S. and China are going to meet in early October. This is the reason for stocks higher. Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to say we should sell this here. This is a bit exaggerated, um, but I'm actually a bit unnerved by the overnight price action. It's not often that I walk in and it's up 1% like that. Um, so we're going to leave stocks alone today, although uh, my intuition says we should probably sell them. Uh, but we're just going to leave this alone. Let's go to Euro. Uh, worked out for us yesterday. Uh, not only did we get boons lower, uh, and we got some basically questioning of monetary policy from a few ECB members, including Lagarde. We think this has legs. Uh, this will probably cruise higher. You can buy this now um, down at 110 the figure. So today we'll be looking to buy euros between 05 and 10 if it gets down there. 
Diane hasn't really done much here. You, you see this um, 75 level traded last night. We've now had highs at uh, 73 on the 23rd. Sixty-eight on uh, twenty-nine, seventy-five last night. So I guess you could argue through this seventy-five, eighty level should bring s renewed buying. Keep an eye on bonds. Uh, you can see the ten-year here turned. I mean, it's not nothing crazy. It was up at oh six. Now it's down at uh, one thirty-one twenty-eight. Yields back above one fifty. It gets more interesting if we get below 16, 131.16, which is the low price for this contract. This is the Dece contract, um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Boons also, we talked about it yesterday. We're really um, waiting for this 177.50 level. This will be the key moment in Boons. Um, got down to... Um, 78, but uh, 177.50 will be the key in booms. See crude shot higher yesterday. This adds to the risk on. Don't want to fade crude now. Looks like we can head quite a bit higher. The market has caught short crude. Um, there's going to be risk above this 56.85 and above this 57.50. Uh, so you don't want to get in the way of this crude trade. It's more sanctions on I in Iran and just a general risk on mood. Crude can, can cruise higher today. Dollars are got smashed yesterday as we talked about through 06. This should continue lower today. Uh, if you're not short already, it's getting a bit late in the day to um, to sneak short. Um, so just watch for now if you're not short already uh, but if you are short you can hold this uh, the first support on this is down at 1440 so we still have another 35 handles to get to that support but you don't really want to be um, putting a big position on now basically in the middle of nowhere your stop has to be above um, 1508 As far as the calendar is concerned today, let's have a quick look. Um, Swiss GDP, I'm so annoyed with Swiss. Um, we'll go back to the Euro Swiss chart in a second. And then we have ADP this afternoon, jobless claims and durable goods and service uh, manufacturing ISM today also. So, U.S. centric day as far as the releases are concerned. Um, our focus is going to be on these commodity currencies. Aussie uh, will be selling CAD on rallies. And, oh yeah, finally, Sterling Yen. Have to respect this level here um, 130.70. Sterling Yen sets looks set to take a boost um, if you look at this historically you get a long way to go up sterling yen um, so let's keep an eye on this this will have a lot to do with what's going on um, in dollar yen as well as sterling so you want to keep an eye on that um, 75 level in dollar yen and Keep an eye on this 70 level in sterling yen. All right, this Aussie's getting close. I'm going to cut this short. Uh, I wish you guys a good day. Loads of dough. This is risk on. It feels a little bit flimsy um, just because it's comment driven. But uh, the chart says it's not flimsy. So... We're going to follow up on this, uh, buying commodity currencies today, looking at sterling yen and dollar yen uh, on continued higher highs, and we will be sneaking some bids into euro around 110. Good luck out there, people. Make loads of dough. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.